Are you new to makeup and not sure where to get started? In this video, I will walk you through the essentials while keeping affordability in mind. Here's everything you need to kickstart your makeup journey as a beginner, along with some budget-friendly product recommendations. Understanding our face shape before we start our makeup, we need to understand our face shape. Everybody has a different face shape. If you are not sure what kind of face shape you are, use this reference to identify your face shape so it's easier for us to create our makeup later. And once that is done, we'll move on to skin prep. Skin prep. To create a natural, clean and minimal makeup, it is important to have a good skin prep. And you need to understand what kind of skin type are you. This is very important because it will decide of what kind of foundation or cushion you will be using later. And if you need to, use this reference to identify your skin type. Now, after understanding your skin type, here's what you're gonna do. For people who have oily or combination skin, you're gonna use cleanser, toner, followed by a gel moisturizer. People who have drier skin, you're gonna swap out gel moisturizer with cream moisturizer. And I'm going to explain the difference between gel moisturizer and cream moisturizer. For gel moisturizer, it has a lightweight formula. It is non-greasy and does not clog the pores. And it is suitable for people who have oily or combination skin. Whereas for cream moisturizers, it penetrates deeply into the skin and it has a longer lasting hydration. It also plumps the skin and makes your makeup apply much more smoothly and evenly. And it's more suitable for people who have drier skin. Understand the purpose behind every makeup product. We need to understand what is the purpose of each product and how it can enhance our features. Sunscreen Sunscreen help us to protect our skin from harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation, also known as the UV light, from the sun which can cause our skin to have premature aging such as loss of skin elasticity, wrinkles and saggy skin. And then we have hyperpigmentations such as dark spots, freckles or even uneven skin tone. Not only that, it also slows down the healing process of acne scars and other skin issues as well. Therefore, it's very important to put on your sunscreen. And here are some affordable sunscreens you can consider. I'm starting off by applying the Beauty of Chosen sunscreen to my skin before applying my makeup. Foundation. The purpose of a foundation is to create a smooth, even complexion by concealing imperfections so that you can achieve a cleaner and more polished appearance. How to choose the right base for you? There are some types of bases include BB cream, CC cream, cushion and foundation. And they all have different benefits. Remember what I said about understanding your skin type? There are cushions or foundations that are suitable for different skin type or finishes. Based on this table, you can decide on what foundation or cushion you want to get. Four being the highest and one being the lowest. And here are some products you can consider. A helpful tip when using foundations is to use as little as possible to avoid cakiness or heavy appearance. For my base, I'm going to use what I have with me right now. This is the Ceramic Skin Perfector Cushion from Amuse. This gives me that flawless skin look and it has a semi-matte finish. Setting powder. Setting powder provides a matte finish and prevents makeup from looking greasy throughout the entire day. 
It also helps to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines to create this flawless complexion. Here are some setting powders you can consider. I will be using the Innisfree No Sebum Powder to set on areas where my skin gets oily throughout the day. Brow Pencil Brows plays a very big part in framing your face and enhancing the overall features. And here are some ways you can do your brows. First of all, you can draw your brows using a brow pencil. If you are unsure of what type of brows suits you, you can refer to this image right here. And what you can do is using a brow pencil and draw the desired brow shape that you want before shaving them. Or you can get professional help whereby it is the easiest to identify your brow shape that frames your face. And they can provide proper guidance on grooming techniques. And here are some brow products you can try. I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil from Etude House to create my brows. A tip for you when doing your brows is that you want to find those pencils with a triangular tip. This is so that it provides precision when drawing your brow hair and it helps to fill up larger areas quickly and efficiently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up those missing brows. When filling in brows, use a light touch and blend with the spoolie for a softer, natural finish. Remember that brows are sisters, not tweets. It's okay if they are not perfectly the same. Eyeshadow The purpose of an eyeshadow is to enhance the eye shape and add depth and dimensions to the eye. One of the safer options for beginners who are new to makeup is to explore the eyeshadow palettes from Japan or Korean beauty brands as they tend to have a more subtle pigmentation compared to American brands which are more pigmented. This also means that if you make a mistake, it will not be very obvious. If I were you, I would start by using matte colours first. This is because it is more natural looking and with glitter eyeshadow, if you apply too much, it may look heavy or messy which is not what we want for a natural clean makeup. And here are some eyeshadow palettes you can consider trying out. I'll be using Can Make Perfect Multi Eyeshadow Palette in shade 2 to add depth and dimension to my eyes. First, I'm going to use a base shade by choosing a neutral shade and apply it all over the lid for a smooth canvas. And then, I'm going to go in with a transition shade by using a slightly darker shade in the crease of your eyes to create dimension and a gradient effect. I will then proceed by applying a shade or two shades darker than the transition shade to the outer corners of your lids to create depth and definition. Lastly, I will use a light shade to add brightness and lift to the eyes, making them look awake and youthful. Blush Blush helps to enhance our complexion. It adds a natural flush to the cheeks while giving a more healthy and radiant appearance. It also balances the overall makeup look, creating a more harmonious appearance. The position of the blush can also affect your overall look. Therefore, you have to experiment with different placements that can help you find the most flattering look for your face shape and style. And here are some blushes I recommend. I'm using the blush from I'm Mimi Afternoon Tea Palette in the shade Chai Tea. And I will be applying the blush along my cheekbones and lightly sweeping it onto my forehead, chin and nose for a naturally flushed look. Lip product. Lip product or lip completes the overall appearance and ties the entire look together. Instead of choosing a lipstick or lip gloss, we're going to use a lip balm. If you don't have, you can purchase coloured lip balm or lip tint that help to enhance your natural lip colours but at the same time moisturise the lips. And here are some lip products you can consider. I will be finishing off the look by moisturising my lips with a coloured lip balm. I would suggest you to use what you have and for me, I could only find this coloured lip balm. Thank 
you so much for joining me today as we explore the essential makeup products for beginners. Remember that makeup is all about self-expression and enhancing your natural beauty. Whether you are just starting your makeup journey or looking to refresh a new routine, these basic essentials will help you create beautiful looks and confidence. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty tips and tutorials. And of course, feel free to leave any comments or suggestions in the comments down below. Remember, there are no rules in beauty. Just have fun and embrace your unique style. See you in the next video. Bye!